Hey guys! So, you're a writer or author curious about making an authortube channel. There are countless ways to grow your audience as an author, but from what I've seen, the most popular has to be YouTube. Authortube is still fairly new, so yes, you can start an authortube even now. It's also a great way to market effortlessly once you've grown your audience of trusting readers and fellow writers. But before we get to that point, we have to start your channel, and I'm going to walk you through it in 8 simple steps. If you're returning to my channel, hi, welcome back, I love you. You're gonna write amazing things and I believe in you. If this is your first time with me, hit that like and subscribe button for more useful writing content and lots of love and support from me. And whether you're an old or new friend, leave a comment telling me your goals for your authortube channel. What are you trying to accomplish? Is it just gaining subscribers, being part of a community, bettering your craft? I feel I fall a little in all three. My first goal with authortube is to hit a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. But I also want to make more friends who have an interest and passion for writing the same way I do. And bettering your skill for writing is great and never hurts. But enough about me, on to making you authortube famous. First, decide what the content of your videos will be. Since this is authortube, your videos will need to be about writing in some sense. This can be anything about how to write books, how to self-publish your book, how to traditionally publish your book, how to market your book, and so much more. But it has to be author and writing related. This is literally your niche, and the best thing about authortube is you start out already knowing what your niche is. You just have to expand and make it unique to you. You're allowed to have more than one niche, but I recommend starting out with one and branching out once you've got a good footing. For example, my niche was writing tips and advice, but I eventually branched out into motivational videos for writers to help those struggling to commit to or keep up with the goals of writing a book. Mental health is important guys. When starting, decide what you want to make your content about and what value you can provide to your audience. And the value can be anything. You can be educating them on a topic, entertaining them with skits about characters, or encouraging them to write their book once and for all. Second, you want to come up with a name for your channel. Before creating your channel, figure out what you want to name it. As an author, you can use your real name, pseudonym, or anything related to your writing brand. Some people have chosen their name for their book series, and there's nothing wrong with this. But do consider if you'll write more than one series in the future. You want people to find the other content you create based on you, not the one book series. You are the brand. You created the series. If you can, try to incorporate your name with one of your main keywords as it'll help others find your channel when they search for content pertaining to your niche. Number three, create your channel. Here's the fun part and where I show you step by step how to create your YouTube channel. If you have a Google account or email, then you're already on your way to having a YouTube channel. We're gonna head to youtube.com. I would hope you've been here before because I have no idea how you're watching this video if you haven't. To create your channel, you're going to head to the upper right corner where your user image is. If you're not logged in yet or haven't set a profile image, it may just be a grayed out little person. Go ahead and log in with your Gmail account if you're not logged in yet. Then click on the icon and a drop down menu will appear. From that menu, click on my channel or create my channel if it's your first time. Ta-da! This will take you to your channel. Your profile will likely not have anything yet and this is a great time to set it up. If you click here, you can upload your image. A lot of authors have headshots they can use, but if you don't have one, I recommend a picture where you're easily visible. One where your audience can see your face. In this corner, you can click to upload your banner. I do recommend you create something unique for this that's in line with your brand. You can make one real quick with Canva for free. There's a bunch of templates you can use and change to fit your brand and niche. You can also have a logo created and add it to your banner. If you don't have a logo yet, you can get one professionally done through Fiverr in a day and within your budget. I'll leave the links to both in the description so you can check them out. Something else to include in your banner to help you out is an image of yourself and the posting schedule. Again, this image should be clear for your viewers to recognize you and your posting schedule will let your subscribers and any newcomers know when to expect a new video from you. As you can see, my banner has a logo, my posting schedule, and an image of myself so you can connect my face to my brand. Once you've got those down, you'll want to add these links here. This will be your website, maybe a link to where to buy your book, and any of your social media you'd like your subscribers to check out. You'll also want to add a description to your page so people can learn what you and and your channel are about. There's still more to your profile, but this is the basic stuff I'd focus on to make your channel professional and presentable. When it comes to uploading a video, you can click up here and upload the already edited file or back over to the user icon to expand the menu to head to the YouTube studio. In studio, it shows you all the stats and analytics for your channel, and I suggest you take some time to learn more about how to utilize studio to help you reach your target audience. Once you've uploaded the video, make sure it's either private or scheduled for a future date because you still have have all the details to fill in like the title, the thumbnail, the description, and the tags. There's a lot that goes into creating a video, but the gist is click upload, select or drag and drop the file, and you're on your way. 
Now that you know what's needed to make your channel pretty and how to upload a video, it's time for number four, come up with an action plan. The two questions that everyone starting out needs to hear are, what do I need to start my channel and what do I already have to work with? I'm going to tell you right now that visual doesn't have to be the greatest quality, but audio can be a deal breaker. If your video is grainy, it's not a big deal. But if your audience can't hear or make out what you're saying, they'll move on to someone else's video without a second thought. You don't need a fancy thousand dollar camera. You can use your phone, which likely already comes with an already decent camera installed. Unless you have a flip phone, then your best bet is to ask a friend or family member if they'll be kind enough to let you borrow a camera. By the way, thank you so much if you've been with me since my very first couple of videos. You guys are the true MVPs. My skills on YouTube were not what they are now, but I've come so far. If you're worried you'll look like an amateur, listen to me when I tell you to still go for it. This is a learning experience and you'll improve more and more with every video. Starting off, you don't need a fancy camera or microphone or anything other than a decent camera that captures at least good audio and a room or location that's quiet and has enough light. When it comes to editing programs, a lot of computers already have one pre-installed. Macs have iMovie, which is what I use, and I believe PCs have Windows Movie Maker. Do correct me if I'm wrong about PCs. You can definitely look around and upgrade over time, but you don't need anything up front besides the minimum that I mentioned. And as a side note, you don't need the most expensive equipment either. Start with what you currently have, and in the meantime, research equipment that you can either save up for or can purchase within your budget. Number five, decide when you're gonna post. For a lot of author tubers, the most popular posting day is Wednesday. I believe that was decided as the best day because of the YouTube algorithm, but honestly, you can pick any day or days that work best for your personal schedule. The real key is to be consistent, and if I'm going to keep being honest with you, I was failing super hard at this. I started my channel back in October of 2018, and I was posting regularly on Wednesdays. I was also two to three months pregnant with my daughter, so about seven months in, I went on hiatus to give birth. My original plan was to be back on YouTube in like three months, but I didn't end up coming back until that following fall, and my upload schedule changed. I was posting two times a week, Wednesday, Sundays, and I'm sad to say I wasn't consistent with that either. My personal schedules put me in an ultimatum of writing or videos, and I'm a writer before I'm an author tuber, and you should be too. So I reevaluated my priorities and decided to post one video a week on Sundays. And most importantly, I'm consistent when posting. Make sure your upload days are non-negotiable, and do your best not to miss them when you're first starting out. Consistency is key to growing your platform. YouTube's algorithm will pick up when you post and promote your video to be seen by others. Plus, your viewers and subscribers will know when to expect new content from you. Now, I'm not going to tell you you can't miss a day or a week here and there. I mean, I went on a longer hiatus than expected after giving life to a baby human. If you need to take a break, by all means, do so. But now you know what to do to hit the ground running when you get back to it. When you decide on a day or days to post your content, figure out what days are best to record and edit your video so you can have it ready in time. If you do this, you can also record more than one video in a day and prepare for future posts if you take a day off. It won't affect you or your platform and your subscribers will still get the value from your content. I know some authors who can do five videos in a day. That's impressive. Fit this into your schedule. Save it to the calendar on your phone, write it in your planner, put it on a sticky note on your wall, and commit to it. Six, set realistic goals. At the beginning of this video, I asked you to share with me your goals for your AuthorTube channel. Whatever they are, make sure they're realistic. Say you'll want to reach a thousand subscribers in a year like me, or just post one video a week for the next year, or make sure you reply to every comment on your videos. Don't set yourself up for failure with goals like, I'm gonna get a million subscribers in one year. Is it possible? Yeah, sure, but you'll likely burn yourself out in the process. Decide on a goal that's reasonable and manageable for your channel and your schedule, and don't forget to let me know what they are down in the comments. Seventh, keep learning. I can promise you that while this video is informative, it is just the tip of the iceberg of information. You can definitely let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do more videos to help you grow your author platform, whether it's YouTube or other social media. But I cannot stress enough that you have to keep doing research on the content you're sharing, ways to record and edit your videos, adding photos, texts, and GIFs and whatnot. It really is another job, and if you want it to work in your favor, you have to keep perfecting your skill. Just like you do with your writing. With that said, the biggest advice I can give is number eight, believe in yourself. Self-doubt is going to keep you from taking this step. And then once you get started, it's going to make you question everything along the way. But you truly have to believe in yourself, your writing skill, and the fact that you can learn to do this. I said it in another video, practice positive self-talk and remind yourself you're capable of making your AuthorTube channel successful and you'll get better at it every time. Be yourself, share your thoughts and opinion that make you uniquely you, and bring 
the value you already have because you do have value even if you don't see it yourself. You sticking to this and making it what it can be is possible, but it's literally up to you to make it happen. And you will. If you made it to the end of this video, congrats. You're starting your AuthorTube channel off right. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on writing tips, support for writers, and my occasional opinion on stuff going on in the writing world. I post new videos on Sundays, meaning you should click that bell so you're the first to know when they go live. You should also check out my website and subscribe to my newsletter for exclusive behind the scenes on my upcoming novel Like My Mother Before Me. And check me out on social media where I'm always happy to make new friends. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.